I struggle with whether I should do this or not. There are a bunch of roots around us here, and those roots have definitely seen how these eggs are taken care of. And I could spend a fair bit of effort, like significantly more effort than this bit is worth, to ask them about how to take care, how the mother seems. Actually, I can ask about what the mother is, too. That maybe is not as much of a waste of effort as I thought. Let me, hey, let me talk. Hold, hold on. Yeah, Adam, Adam, <laughs> Adam, this is the DM talking. You better use that fucking spell. Yeah, I am using that fucking spell right this fucking second. Excellent news. I, I can't speak with plants. Is there any wild magic shit I have to do with casting a third level spell? Um, no, not for, it's a third level spell? Yeah. Okay, roll a d20 for me, but it's okay. not for just a surge. Someone called me, but I would say yes. Wait, please spend it on the bid. Please do it. That's a 10. For whatever that's worth. Okay. I'm giving you my inspiration. I don't know what this roll was for or what a 10 meant. I can, I'll take it if you want me to re-roll. Uh, you know. It's up, it is up to you. I'm um, not, if, if I, I, I say let the roll be the roll. I say let the roll be the roll. This is a bit. Okay. Let let the roll be the roll. Well, I, I'm, I'm giving you my inspiration. inspiration. Fuck you. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, then, David, will you just take whichever of these two is better for whatever? I, I would take the better one. Okay. I don't know what better means in this case. If I want low or high, but the better is either. <laughs> well, that was roll of 20, and you rolled 20 rather than d20. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you know what? Oh, no, no, everyone, everyone, he used a real damn good inspiration. No, get that 15 out of here. He rolled a 20. Okay, 20. <laughs> God, it's great. <laughs> uh, anyway, Artuk, okay, you you kind of speak 20, with 15, 10, whatever's the best out you speak with plants, uh, right? Yeah, yeah I, I, I mean, you speak with plants on the root that is nestling one of the eggs, and I'm just gonna walk up to it like, "Hey, uh, I'm in, first off, I'm impressed you're growing down here. There's no sunlight, and that's pretty damn cool." Unless hey, thanks, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if you have, like, leaves up top or something. But one way or the other, it's pretty neat that you're down here. Leaves? I don't need that shit. I just I survive on pure fucking vibes and also a lot of water. <laughs> don't fucking need that shit. You know? I feel that. I also, also, that corpse uh, floating in the water is going to provide essential nutrients. So thank you to that girl. He tries to point with his roots. They don't move because he doesn't have a concept of pointing. <laughs> All right. Two questions here. Who's that girl in what direction would you point it in if you could? Who's... Who... Wait, what? <laughs> uh, who... What, what, what killed that, that corpse you're enjoying? Oh, that'd be a... Huh. You know, I've never really considered this up until this point. And I'd say you're probably my closest friend, so I can disclose this to you. <laughs> but... <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I've never really considered my own existence, much less that of what that other thing was. Huh. Fair. Before we get any further, I, I realize the novelty of considering your own existence. What is your name, or what would you like your name to be? I want to be Toby. <laughs> Alright. Good to meet you, Toby. I'm Artuk. Um, we're my friends, so we got Morak and Zekka and, uh... Uh, we got fire over here, or can, whatever. Toby, what a great name. I know what a name is now. Oh, this is a great day. I fully agree. This is a wonderful day. Um, but not for that corpse in the water. I mean, you're benefiting here. But, uh, you know, something killed that corpse in the water. Um, did you happen to have any sense of it at all? Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you know about it? Well, my consciousness was just created, so I don't know how to articulate this. Um, okay, so was it big, like, uh, you know, um, and I, like, stretched my arms out as big as I can, or small, and I curled down in a ball? Which of those is it more like? Uh, it's more like the big one. Okay, gotcha. Is it, um, uh, is it, like, an animal, and I get down on all fours and, like, you know, pretend to, I almost... Consider turning into animals. Like, I have to look at those. 
um, or is it like a person I get back up on two feet, or is it like something else that doesn't have any kind of legs or stuff like that? Oh, something else that doesn't have plant have legs? You mean a plant? No, no, no I, 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 I just consider. You think just because uh, you think just because it's an, I'm nearby it that I killed it? No, 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 not at all. I figure that uh, plants, you know, at least the ones I've met, the ones down here, don't seem to be moving around. We like to be chill. You're on, you're on thin. I don't know what ice is. <laughs> I figure it's killing something that's not as relaxed as you are, so I figure it could be a plant. All right. It was a. Uh, it was one of those uh, four four walkie things that you were talking about. Not like you were that guy. That thing that's dead and floating. Give me those delicious, delicious nutrients. More like if you and you. If there were two of you and one was bent over. Okay, that's gotcha. Understood. So real big four walkie thing. Um, did it go that way? And I point down the part of the tunnel we haven't been down, or that way when I left? I don't really have a conception beyond my own space. This is fair. Uh, did it? Does it come to this water a lot? Yeah. Gotcha. I can't really think of. Uh, how you perceive beyond your space, which way it went. So that's probably a good move point. Fair. Toby? What do you think is important in life? I figure it's real rude of me if I'm just like, oh shit, you have consciousness and you know, your own self-perception now, and all I'm going to do is ask you yes or no questions about a thing that walked through here. Like, really, this is pretty huge, and I should be a little more understanding and uh, excited for you. I think I think the one thing that really matters in life is getting that sweet, sweet pollen, baby. Oh shit. Are you, Do I still have consciousness have... or is that the end? I don't know how this works. Oh shit. I honestly have never asked the plant that I imbue with consciousness afterwards whether it still had consciousness or not. Oh, this will be fun. I get to contemplate whether I'm dying. Oh, yeah, excellent. you have, like, at this point, like, eight minutes left before what I've done ends, and you either go back to the state you were in, or maybe there's some level of consciousness that's been imbued to you permanently. Your name was Artuk, right? Yes. You're a I'm son of a bitch, you know that? You've, you've really just... You, what have you done to me? I have to co think about this now. Yeah, questioning your immortality is not something I meant to, you know, trouble you with. I just wanted to know about the thing that came through here. I mean... You know, as shitty as it kind of sounds, like, you know, if I had come through here and done this, you never would have had any mortality to begin with. And is it better to have loved and lost or to have never loved at all? You sense contemplation in the mind. You sense you've given him another ethical quandary to consider in his limited time. Yeah. Um, I dropped some big questions on you here that you can't answer. Um, is there anything else that you could answer about the little questions that I asked about, you know, uh, what this four-legged thing that came and destroyed somebody that feed you was? Uh, any more info you got on that? Oh man, I just... What's gonna happen when I, when you leave? I... Oh no, I just... No, no, Artuk, Artuk, you can't leave me, man. I need to know. I, I can feel, I can feel things. I'm aware of my own existence. I, I can, I can be a part of your gang. All right, just, just, just. I, uh, uh, actually, you know what? I have a. Uh, so there's this. Do you know about the process of taking cultivars? Why would I know that? Because it's inherently related to the reproduction of plants. I don't know your terms you're using. This is fair. Um, okay, so here's the thing, right? Depending on, you know, exactly who you are and stuff, there's a chance that I could take a little bit of you with me um, and, you know, just keep it planted and have it grow and just by, you know, grabbing a little bit, let it grow. And that way, no matter what, I can always be around. So even if, you know, you stop being imbued with it now, I could always imbue in the future whatever fragment of you I take with me. Would you prefer that, or would you prefer, you know, six and a half minutes from now, 
facing whatever comes of the lack of my magic and you. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, whatever God or natural force I worship as that idea just got spawned on me as well. I can't tell you the right decision to make, Toby, but I can at least offer you the option to, you know, at least in some regards, some pieces of you come with us. Um, if you'd like to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And the only, I, I can't, you know, make life easier, give you decisions, or, uh, you know, make your choices for you, but I can at least give you the decisions to make for yourself. The power to choose is meaningful. For as long as I've been conscious these last three and a half minutes, I've been a, I've been a cave plant. And damn it, if that's how I go out, that's how I go out. All right. I, uh, I respect your choice. Thanks for the help with uh, the four-legged beastie thing. I, uh, I'm glad you were able to at least provide a little bit of insight there for that. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, you know, it's a, sort of a hollow thing to say at this point, but uh, enjoy what time you have to think. As you guys walk away... <laughs> You just, oh, no, Artuk, you sense doubt. You sense much doubt in this young Root's life that, well, one way or another will be resolved in a few minutes. I have to reconsider the ramifications of casting that spell ever again. I bet Artuk, like, learned so much about raising those eggs and definitely didn't cause that special crisis. Oh shit, I forgot to ask about the eggs. I mean, to be fair, I don't think it really had much perception. Wow, I'm... I'm gonna eat a minute, y'all. <laughs> we can go back to that area over there. Honestly, it kind of has to be, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I mean, I mean there is bracket water. Oh, I was just gonna be on this. These roots right here. Honestly, they might enjoy that. Don't you, don't you give Toby that. Don't you put your agenda on to Toby. Toby's got a piss cake. No, I just think it's different than with nutrient ridden water. That's all it is. Or actually, wait, is piss nutrient ridden or toxic ridden? And was on pissing on all of his plants for years and wondering why everything's dead. Is it, is that like objectively toxic? I guess, I guess you, you are, are producing, like, like waste, but, like, like, you know, fecal waste is positive, but it's also because you're not a perfect engine of, like, using all the... I don't really know. I am sitting here seriously kind of questioning the, you know, nutritional value of pissed plants, and I don't need to be doing that. <laughs> I, I can tell you from having dogs in the lawn, piss is not good for it. Understood. All right, then don't piss on the roots. You should piss somewhere where there isn't as much roots, because... That root currently has the ability to dislike the fact that you're doing that, at least for the next few minutes, and that's just real shitty. But, but it wouldn't be nice to change this garden. Alright, well, I, uh, I am leaving this part of the cave morally weighted down significantly more than I entered it, and uh, really questioning the ramifications of my magical capabilities, and sort of understanding there's a lot more responsibility than I had considered with it. Let's keep moving. I was really hoping Toby would come along, and then eventually when you get the awakened plant spell, we could pass it on him and make him permanently awakened.